So I've been working on this group for a while, um, pretty much black and white. Uh, the most recent thing that I did differently was a friend suggested that I use this uh, slate black. And um, I thought it was too warm, and I tend to lean toward the cooler side of things. But I tried it, and I really liked its qualities, which I thought looked a little bit like a, uh, a print or an old photograph or, uh, or just like earth, very earthy. And uh, that's what I've been using lately. Um, and I'm kind of fond of this imagery that comes. Uh, I like, oh, this is the wrong one, but I like painting with a knife. And um, the, I, I just kind of like slashing it. Um, and some of these forms kind of repeat. They look a little bit like Batman or, but they're purely abstract. They're just marks. I make those marks, and when I have something that I think is compelling, I guess in a psychological way, when I feel there's some kind of recognition that it, it may be nothing, but it looks like something, that's when I stop and I leave it alone. And um, that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's, it's very straightforward. I was doing some uh, ink on paperwork last year, and it kind of led me into this. Um, a lot of people ask me about the white band. Why do I go to that, you know, reflexively? I painted them without the white band and they just feel kind of incomplete and I like, you know, sort of the binding of opposites. I like contrast in painting. And especially in painting this minimal, I, I just think it's really nice to have a counterpoint. And, and not to sound grandiose, but I've been reading this Faulkner novel, The, uh, the Wild Palms, and it's two novellas completely different that are interwoven. And I was reading about why Faulkner did that, because it doesn't actually work that well. But what he said he was trying to do was, through counterpoint, he was trying to raise the pitch of the work of art. And I feel like that's what I'm trying to do here, to create kind of a state of harmony, but maybe harmony at like an aggressive level, aggressive harmony. Um, but I also like that it's blank. It's the white that's underneath the blank. So if someone looks at this, they know that that was the starting point like painting that reveals the process of its own making. I like having that crisp edge, too. I mean, I'm a little uptight that way, I guess, but uh, I like it as a counterpoint to the, uh, for lack of a better term, the expressionistic action that's going on with the knife. And you do do, you pretty much don't do any work with a paintbrush, do you? Not anymore. Uh, that was sort of the last thing I got rid of. And for a while, I was trying to just work with the knife where it was additive, but that didn't work so well. I like working negatively. Um, I like the figure to painter Edwin Dickinson. He works a lot negatively with the knife, and especially his uh, premier coup paintings, his first strike paintings that he does in one session. So yeah, it's just knife and tape. That's it. Knives are easier to clean. <laughs>